Uh, oh, stop. projects in here right now. I thought I'd sneak one of my own in tonight real quick. I've come across the need in my shop for a clamping square or a fixturing square. And basically what that is, or what I interpret that as, is just a heavy square made out of some type of material that you can use for really clamping two heavy pieces of iron together. The material I have available for that is this piece of one inch by three inch square tubing. It's got an eighth inch sidewall. I've got some one inch by two inch square tubing, same sidewall, that I think we can use as a gusset on that. And then I've also got this remnant piece of steel. I don't even really know what you would call this, like a T-beam or something, unless somebody cut this and modified it at some point. I don't know. I've never bought a material like this off the shelf, so I don't even know what you would call it. Um, it's pretty heavy, and I think I have about three and a half or four feet of it here that we can cut and weld into a 90. I think to start, We'll cut this at a 45 degree angle on this plane. That will allow us to kick this to a 90. And that's going to provide us with a lot of nice surface area for clamping. And then we'll use this as a gusset. And I'm not sure if we want to use it vertical or if we want to use it flat like that. We're kind of ending up in the center here, which is the weak point of any box tubing. So I think we, we may even consider kicking this off to one side and tying in with one of our corners. I'm not sure. We'll see what we come up with. While this is set at 90, I think we'll tidy up this end with a nice 90 degree cut. And then we'll go ahead and move the bands off for 45 degrees. got these pieces cut here. Quick word about what we're going to do. I have these two little remnants or little drops. They're two by two angle iron. And what we're going to do is, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut some keyholes in here. And we'll weld this in kind of like a fish plate. One on each side. And then slip the next piece on and weld it. That's going to give us a really strong corner. That's not going to, not going to flex. It's going to be very rigid. And then we're going to fit this up and we will go ahead and check it a few different ways. I've got the analog or the, the dial indicator here, angle finder. We've got the digital and I've got a couple of different squares. We're going to make sure this thing is absolutely perfect. right here set up for dual shield and that's going to be perfect for this application we're just going to go ahead and run it to dual shield
sitting here looking at how heavy this is and how long. It's exactly four feet. And I'm thinking two that are one foot by one foot is going to be better than one that is two foot by two foot. I'm going to have a lot more opportunity to use the one footers. So I think I'll go ahead and make two identicals. Should have held that off the edge of the table. All those spatter berries would have fallen on the ground. Rookie move. We'll let that cool down and we'll weld our next piece, but we don't want to really put too much heat in that. Okay, and here we are with our finished product. Got the ends all nice and capped in. I did not add the gusset in here. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna. I'm gonna use it for a little while like this. If I feel like it needs it, then I'm gonna add it in there. And with those two pieces of angle iron fish plated behind there, this joint is very strong. So we'll play it by ear. We'll see what we come up with. I'm really happy with the way these things came out. They are solid. I haven't finished ground all this off yet. I would like to take them down to bare metal. Maybe paint the back side, leave the front side bare. The only other modification I can foresee myself doing on these is 45ing these back because you can't rest them on the table like this. So that's one possible mod that I'll do to these. And then on all three of them, I really rounded these corners because it's nice to be able to clamp. If you have a weld in a corner, a fillet weld, it's hard to clamp, so I rounded these off. But anyway, there they are. And uh, you know, something like this is really easy to come up with with angle iron. You know, let's say you had a couple of uh, pieces of angle iron where you could weld them into an I beam, which is a very strong shape, you know, and then you could cut them and 45 them, and you'd basically end up with that exact same shape. Something like that, and you, you have this same thing, really. You can use kind of whatever you have laying around as long as you have the rigidity. 